everybody. Welcome to MS Live. I'm your host, Chelsea Hill. And today we're going to talk about uh, uh, bladder stimulation or um, better yet, pacemakers for bladders. Long ago, this is, I had MS just a short while, let me think. And that's not true. I had it for about six years and something bizarre happened to me. I was talking to a friend, I was wearing my jeans, talking to her, I was drinking a beer, I was having a nice time, and bam, my pants were soaking wet, and I was so embarrassed. I was just, hi, Linda, uh, hi, Karen, I was so embarrassed, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed, but uh, uh, I, and I've lived like that, hi, Chris, I've lived like that, uh, uh, Gosh, that, that had to be in 98. I don't know. I got, I got my book. I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, uh, let me bring you closer. All right. Here's a, here's a I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh my God. You know, and this is my fault, but I've been on the phone with the nurse because yesterday I had an implant put into my sacral nerve, my spine. I show you, and then I'll hide wheel a number of you, and Chris, you sweet gal, uh, uh, I love you. But uh, um, I, I show you, but it, it the tubes are kind of bloody, and it doesn't look as pretty as it looked when I put a picture on Facebook. So I'm not gonna do do that there. So um, I've got a book. It's a thick book of my, the history of me going to the doctor. Hi, Sarah. Uh, so, all right. So I look back. When did I have bladder problem? Okay. Because I, I, I first started keeping notes. You know how I tell you all to keep notes uh, in all of my videos there. This here. Oh, my gosh. This is. Let me see. You, you'd laugh at this. Uh, these, the papers, the papers of the old advanced reading. Ugh. Here's. Uh, anyway, um, what it basically, I started having problems with, with uh, incontinence or my bladder spasming, trying to get to the bathroom, basically not having enough time getting there. Having, actually, no, that's not really true. Um, having about instead of having like a oh have to go i've got a five minute time period to get to the bathroom instead of that having ms uh now all of a sudden my reality was that uh i feel like i have to go to the bathroom and and as soon as i felt like that i that meant i needed to start walking to the bathroom the quicker i could start walking to the bathroom the better off i was going to be uh, I was going to make it. No problem. No problem. So, and so it was about a three minute time. So, uh, God forbid, I remember in California uh, having to go to the bathroom and it was a wedding. And they said, our bathroom is broken. You have to go down the, down the parking lot there to the end business and in their bathroom, you can use their bathroom. You know, golly smoke. That, and, and that was at least a 10 minute walk. I, so I went out and looked for a tree. <laughs> I love for a tree, right? That's what we do. We survive. Hi, Richard. So I'm talking about um, pacemakers for bladders today. And, and uh, I had that implant put in. There's two, there's two, there, there's pacemaker. And basically, it is a uh, uh, a little itty bitty box, and there's two wires that go into your sacral nerve, and they have little pulses, and it's just a pacemaker, and it takes the place of the medication that you typically use: the ditropan, the detrol, the Vasicare, the Desipress, and the Oxy. Oh, let me Oxy the the Mozambique. All right, meta, meta, uh, you guys, you guys on YouTube, you, you guys know how to say that. I don't know. I, I call it Mozambique because it begins with an M. Metabetrix. <laughs> oh, I don't want to out myself because I actually know how to say it. But uh, um, anyway, that is takes the place of that. 
Now, when this is a trial I'm on right now, and and uh, for seven days I have the wires going in there. Can't swim. Uh, if I knew I couldn't exercise, <laughs> everybody. I'm just letting you know on on Facebook. Everybody on YouTube. <laughs> no, so, ah, you guys are killing me. Oh my God, they're they're correcting me. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. My Patrick. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're, they're telling me how, how what it is. I love you guys. I love you guys. I like. You know, and y'all have such a great sense of humor. So, um, so it's a seven-day trial, and and uh, what it is is that I went back to taking the medication, the the vest, uh, let me see, the Tritrapan that wasn't working. Remember, I medicated myself, and I took, I, I started taking it higher. <laughs> You got, but the, you, you're part of the show. Remember, I'm just the host. So Sarah, of course, you know Sarah. You, absolutely, that's. The, I think, you know what? It's good that I get things wrong, so you can assist, You all can assist me, right? So what happens is, you're funny. You're funny. Thank you, Chris. You make me smile. I, I didn't think I would be able to make it today. Uh, uh, just tired, tired, and I was I'm kind of depressed because I can't work out. And they got the pool going. Not that the uh, you know the pool's really cold, so you can go swim outside. But let me all right, squirrel. I've been off the topic, so I want to talk a little bit. And you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be backwards for you. Let me see. All right. Uh, yeah, backwards, backwards. There's two makers of this, uh, of, of a neurostimulator, bladder stimulator. Uh, one is, it's called uh, Medtronic. And Jane, if you're here, I know you sent me an email. You you wanted to know what I knew about it because you're interested in getting that. So a lot of people who are watching today uh, uh, are interested in this. A lot of people don't know about this, and this takes it 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 uh, moderates the bladder. Guess what? It also moderates the bowel. So from your waist down, if you you have a spastic bladder or therapy, if if you have hesitancy or urgency. If you have that, this is what is supposed to work. Now, there's two competitors. Hi, Tim. Um, the two competitors, and I talked to uh, uh, now. Granted, I've only talked to uh, uh, the one competitor, the one, and the one competitor, Axonic, is the one that was most recently FDA approved, and it was 2019. And uh, their claim to fame is they have a smaller box that. Uh, all right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you because I'm I'm just so. Uh, I, I, I Jason. All right, I'm going to show you guys. All right. All right, I'm going to show you. You see that the. Uh, can you see? All right. Uh, it's a great unveiling. All right. If 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 I show you my entire hiney, please uh, forgive me. Uh, now the blood is just dried blood. All right, it's just dried blood. You can't really see it, can you? All right, it's dried blood. But it it doesn't it didn't hurt getting it. It didn't hurt. I know. Did that horrify you? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it doesn't hurt. It didn't hurt to sleep. It didn't hurt to get. And I'm a wimp. <sighs> yeah. Th th so this monitors. It's a pacemaker for your bladder. <sighs> uh, you know what? I should have worn a, a bathing suit. And then I could have shown you a bikini or something. I, I, I don't know. It's cold. It's cold. Too cold for that. But anyway, uh, there's two manufacturers, Metatronic and Axonic. 
They're the two companies, Metatronic and Axonic. And, and write that down because, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, good, good, good. All right. It, it, it's just two little uh, two little wires that go into the sacri sacral nerve and send and they they adjust it so that it's like a little little flutter and and when they adjusted it I'll take it huh you know they, then they gave me a flicker they give me a flicker all right a remote control uh, uh, I wish I could show you guys just a little remote control and they, and they said all right don't use it don't use it, but if, you know, we'll talk to, talk to us, call us up and talk to us, and, and we'll, you, we may adjust it accordingly, because you guys know me, I want to go home and say, well, I don't feel it, I look, wait, it's all right, I got to turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, I don't want to it much. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be a good idea. All right, so there's two. Now, Melissa looks like a, she's got a question. Are you able to get, excellent. Oh, my gosh, excellent question, Melissa, because that is uh, what the competitors are. You're able to get an MRI after getting this device. I was offered this type of device several years ago. All right, now I'm going to uh, tell you. Uh, axonic versus metatronic. All right. Uh, so the 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 two face to face. Why you would want one? Now let me go back. All right. I'm going to tell you exactly. All right. Axonic surveyed 137 patients previously previously treated with a metronic Interstim 2 device and now receiving axonic therapy. Uh, so, so I'm going to go into that in a minute, but this is people who did the device that you were talking about to go went ahead with that. Uh, and it says, uh, Exxonne. In fact, I could send you this. It says, uh, full body MRI, uh, uh, the Medtronic system, the one that they was recommended, uh, is it's not approved. All right, head quill MRI conditions. You can only do a head coil MRI with a 1.5 Tesla if you have Metatronics. All right, so the Axonic, the one I'm on, and the one that you should write down and look into, it is approved MRI scanners, 1.5 Tesla. You can't do a full body three Tesla or a spinal three Tesla, but 1.5 Tesla. All right. And that's most, most of them are on 1.5. Guess what? Guess it's a copay on 1.5. It's cheaper. It's a cheaper machine to get it in. And it, it does the exact same thing. It does. All right. So let's, let's go on the comparison. 82% of patients rated their remote control experience. Better remote control uh, on on uh, axonic. Uh, let me see. Uh, the other thing is that axonic has a 15-year lifespan. Uh, it, it you put it on and and now here it is. You put it on and once a week you put a little belt on and it recharges the battery. So. Uh, I'm going to get to your questions in a minute. Adjusting the therapy, there, there's ways to adjust the therapy. All right. So, hi, Jane. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Let's see. Melissa, fantastic. Keep bringing questions to me. Keep Good, good morning, Laura. Uh, uh, all right. So, um, the, the, the bladder stimulation. The bladder stimulation device, uh, or the bladder pacemaker. There's two. There's two. One is MRI is safe, and and uh, uh, the other one is only partially MRI safe. Axonic is MRI safe to 1.5, and that's important to know. 
oh my gosh, that's good coffee. I didn't use coconut milk. I broke my diet. I threw some uh, uh, regular milk in there, cow's milk. You know, guys, I just, I'm losing weight because I'm just not feeling well. I'm not, food just doesn't interest me. Um, I don't know. Give me an idea of what I should eat. I don't even feel like cooking. I'm going to go to the gym anyway and, and just do some real delicate work. Nothing with my back and, and make that happen. All right. Uh, Richard, the uro urologist, he went to talk to me about that. Not sure I want to go through that. Not sure I want to do another operation. You know what? So, Richard... You know, I, I I got to thinking about that, and I'm thinking, you know, I didn't want another operation. I I didn't. Uh, guess what? I just saw running through the window there. This this puppy, my puppy. Hang on one minute. Hang just a second. Yeah, all right, he's good. Good. He's running around the side gate because he's like, what the heck? He, I, I've been snagged. He was running. He, he looked like he was going east. So, uh, uh, Linda, my my dog, my puppy shows up in your area. I just uh, um, let me know. Okay, so, Richard, as far as uh, his surgery... This was uh, a surgical procedure. I was on my stomach, pain free. Uh, and it will be surgery to get the implant. Um, but uh, I'll tell you what, we're not getting any healthier. We're not getting any healthier. And I'll tell you, in order to manage my bladder, I had to take two Ditropan. Guess what? My mouth was so dry. It was like Sahara Desert stuff. Uh, no, I can't. I can't. And and now because I'm not taking the two, uh, ditch man took one. I'm doing that. Uh, uh, I'm I'm considering the baclofen pumps. So I don't have to take tizidine or baclofen. If I get all these things in place, granted, I'll be a bumpy, lumpy thing. But guess what? Then there's no medications to make me dizzy. Uh, um, there's there's nothing. There's nothing to make me dizzy, and and uh, uh, oh my goodness! All right, one minute. All right, time out. I got to get that puppy. All right, just a second. He's gonna run away. Y'all got a chance to see how I walk as well. Um, I'm sorry for the dead air, but I'm sure you could entertain yourselves. You know what? Um, the fence, everything was closed in the back. He's not supposed to get out. Uh, how we got out. Uh, <laughs> Winston's on my last nerve. You know what? I, I had a poodle puppy. I've never, I, I've had a golden retriever puppy. Uh, uh, I work with that miniature schnauzer. I have never, never uh, had a more difficult time with puppy training than I have with a poodle uh, spaniel mix. Oh my God. Okay, Tanya, to answer your question, have you tried Botox injections in your bladder? That works great for me. And that's a wonderful um, uh, question. Uh, uh, Botox injections do work, but you have to go often. Uh, no. To answer your question, no, I haven't done the Botox. Uh, uh, 
I just just uh, uh, have not had had uh, uh, have not had the Botox, but yes, Botox does the same thing. It it uh, calms the uh, uh, it calms the overactive bladder. It calms the uh, uh, how come I'm I'm drawing a blank right now? Cause cause that. All right, so let's see. How do you get into your bladder? All right, what is that question? How do you get into your bladder? You drink water, right? You put put what you want in your bladder in the water, and you drink it. Actually, it's coffee. No, um, this is uh the you you're talking about the nerve stem. Uh, what it 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 does is that I laid on this this surgical table and they numbed my my around my tailbone there and they they put two wires into my spine and I didn't feel it I am uh oh my gosh I'm a wimp with pain I don't know sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not uh, uh, but they put the two stimulations and they they kind of uh, uh, adjusted it and taped it all up and uh, when you're done this rewind it and you'll you'll see my uh, 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 hey tell me something do you think if I walked back a little bit and I showed you my butt or that it showed it it would be better would y'all like to see that just just give me an idea because the, there's two all right there's, there's, just to show you it did not hurt it didn't i slept well i slept on both sides i did not have a problem so and it takes the place of botox you have to go all the time with botox guess what with this uh uh it's, it's 15 years and and you don't have to go at all it, it's permanent it, it works yeah six to nine months and you have to go every six to nine months uh, with me, with with having an implant there, you don't have to go anymore. I go to uh, the urologist now because I have kidney stones. Oh, that's a good good thing. Kidney stones I probably have to turn it all away. Yeah, because there's a remote you can turn it off there. Huh. Anyway, uh, um, so uh, so you don't have to. You don't go and you get it recharged or anything. You just there's two batteries on Axonics there. There there is the one that lasts five years, and then you have to go and get it replaced. Or there's the one that lasts 15 years, and and you just recharge it once a week <laughs> for one hour. And and you don't have to go see the doctor. I don't like going to the doctor. Oh my gosh, I don't like going to the doctors. How about peanut butter and salmon? You know what? I, believe it or not, Susan, that is such a great idea. That's a staple for me. Um, every day, every day, peanut butter, banana. Peanut butter and banana. Tablespoon of peanut butter and banana. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, so far, yeah. Just, just. Yeah, um, anyway, that's good. Yeah, I, I guess I can make, uh, I'll bring up my smoothie machine. I've got lots of smoothie making stuff. Yeah, that, that's true. And it's true because uh, I remember I'm on that stomach bile acid uh stomach bile acid study from hopkins and, and it gives me an upset stomach um and i'll mix it a little quick but guess what this exonic bladder and bowel tanya i was just going to say even though you can't see this because let me see if i can uh all right the exonic the, the stimulation works for bowel too uh, which is, I don't know about you, but especially when when you're a bit quick because of this this uh, uh, bile study, I didn't have any problems. You know, I can make it. I can. I've made it. You know, 
it's the first day. It's, isn't it just like like anybody just uh, now you're all that you've had your first day and you've got this this implant you know and now you're like the queen of the prom. It's like you. Hang on. In fact, I talked to the, the gal who is the, the nurse. They're so nice. They call you every day. Every day. She called me today. <laughs> day one. <laughs> and uh, uh, and she she just asked about that. I, I had to laugh. I, I just, I was like, yeah, it's good. It's good. No problem. No problem. And, uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, I ain't asking about yeah, Jane and Susan. Let's see. All right, Jane. I know you. Jane is uh uh, uh doing support now with each other. All right. Let's see. Chris. Chris. Where? All right. Let's see. For Botox, you know, Botox, Melissa, Botox works, right? But it's every six to nine months, six to nine months. Uh, plus, it doesn't work on bowels, you know. It, it doesn't. Uh, the 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 uh, pacemaker works on bladder and bowel. Anyway, it, it's not. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just saying it's another option. Hey, stop that. That's a that's. Like a razor blade, fish tank thing, scraper. Oh my god! All right. Hey! Stop it! Oh my god! Come here. What's wrong with that? Let me show you guys something. Oh my god! Let me show you. The puppy was she jumping on? Uh, I, I had to put away standing up on the fish tank, but the puppy was just jumping on. This is a hyper, or I'm sorry, it's a razor blade that scratches uh, your fish tank. I had it put away standing up uh, by the fish tank, and he just went in there and knocked it over, and he's pouncing on it with his paw, pouncing on the end of. Felt it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. Get you get a poodle? Get a major shelzer? Get a poodle. Don't, don't, don't get a poodle hybrid. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, you know what? Winston is four months. Oh, but by the way, yeah, and Brian's away on a two-week trip, and he's due back soon. He's like, oh my gosh, I, uh, I just, I can, I can do this. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, and I can do all things for you. But in fact, I don't know how I do life, uh, especially Tuesdays and Thursdays from eleven to twelve. Uh, without uh, without your encouragement, I just I look forward. I have to go. Oh, gosh, I'm telling you, I was on the phone with this this nurse. Like like I'm always on the phone with the nurse, and my mom calls. Oh, how you doing? And I'm thinking, uh, I forgot. I forgot it was Tuesday, and I thought I don't have a damn care in the world. And then I'm thinking, uh oh. Then I'm thinking, uh. I got to get my act together. Then I thought I had to go on at 10. <laughs> ah, you know what? I've been told by the life of Riley, you know, what does that mean? What does that mean? But anyway, um, so if you have bladder frequency, even if you have hesitation, you go to the bathroom and you have to catheterize you, yourself. Uh, this works. For, for hesitancy, for catheterization takes the place of that. Uh, so you have options, all right, for, for uh, frequency, for incontinence, you have the medications, um, you have Botox, and you have the stimulations. The two companies that offer it is Metatronics, 
um, but carefully compare them with axonic, axonic therapy, and and uh, um, there is a just a just a list of why uh, you know what axonic says is MRI approved uh, at 1.7 or 1.3 Tesla, and and that that's good to know. Anyway, and it wasn't painful. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Uh, see, Danya, welcome to my world. I make kidney stones. You know what? Uh, my first kidney stone I had in 2004. I had one that blocked my ureter and, and my, I, I needed to, uh, I don't feel like talking about kidney stones. I've, I've had them. Uh, I've had lithotripsy twice. I've had, uh, and right now I have four kidney stones on my left and four on my right. And they are, thank you, Chris, for the, the time. Uh, they're all under 0.5 uh, centimeters. So they have to be 0.5 in order to take them out. But uh, uh, I, I, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, take them out. Let the trips. Uh, I, in fact, I said that to the uh, urologist, who I found out is also a Jersey girl. That's cool. So I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm, I said, uh, what are we waiting for? You know, 0.49 centimeters. Are we waiting for me to have a, a kidney stone attack? Or, like, can we take them out now? And, and you know, let the trip see she says, no insurance wants you to, they have to be 0.5. They have to be 0.5. Yeah, it's a trip. Oh, my God, it was so bad. I, I, you know, you know, and it's interesting because I have passed stones that have been small. And, and I'll tell you what, passing a stone, having it go down your your ureter and, and and pushing it out. Oh my God! It's like that was good. That was good. It, it just I I don't know. I don't know. I I, I you know it. But I'll tell you what. As long as it doesn't hurt. But I've laid on the floor. Uh, uh, I've laid on the floor in a, in the fetal position. Oh, let me, let me, no! I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you what. Yeah. Uh, all right, I will tell you. Okay, so we went to the emergency room because I was having kidney stones. And let me tell you something. They, they'll, they don't care. They'll, they'll let you ride in pain. Also. So uh, what happened? I, I said to my husband, go up and tell them I can't breathe. Because you know, that's a, a buzzword for them. So Brian uh, went up and said, my wife says she can't breathe. So they immediately saw me, gave me Toradol. It helped a little bit. They gave me this, this. And then they sent me home with this prescription for morphine that, that I, I, I did not want to take. And it wasn't like a little bit of morphine. It was a little bit. It was like, it was, a, it came with a suppository. That's how much morphine it was. You had to put the suppository up so you didn't do dry heat. Well, anyway, I was in such pain. And um, so I'm waiting to get the surgery. And I'm in bed. And I'm laying on one side. I'm like, and I'm fine. I'm fine if I'm laying on one side. So I asked my husband, could you please get my meds? So guess what he does? He, he gets all my meds. And he puts it more, but he doesn't know. Hey, he gets the morphine, he puts the morphine in there and he gives it to me. Well, I don't know. I decided I'm going to get out of bed, go change, uh, you know, do the, the curtains because I want to see outside. I drop, I, I drop on the floor. I mean, kidney. So, heck, I'm, ha I'm stroking out. I thought I was stroking out and I'm lying on the floor and I, I said, help me, help me. So he comes in and I said, what's, you know what, something's wrong, something's wrong. And and we, we deduced that he accidentally dosed me. And you know what was funny is I said, you better get that suppository. 
And here I, all of a sudden, I got embarrassed. I'm thinking, wait a minute, he dosed me. I'm going to be embarrassed about him putting a suppository in my butt. You, no, no, it, it was, it was bad. I, I, I don't like to be drugged out. Oh, I don't like to. Uh, yeah, I, but I, I've got meds. I, I'll tell you the best meds that work. It's that Toradol, Toradol, and that's like an aspirin. But gosh, can't they just take it, take it out? Uh, uh, Jane saying, uh, um, rated or stones are worse than labor pains. Um, Mace, have you ever had uh, kidney stones? Bladder problems? Come on, you participate. By the way, um, I was so, I was looking through my history book of of because uh, I changed neurologist and he wanted uh, he wanted some of my old MRIs. I had disc of my old MRIs uh, from 2005, uh, 2012, and and this year, and I sent him. Comparison. He wants to compare. He can. He can see. He can see that. Um, by the way, this this uh, uh, this booklet that that I told everybody keep note. Um, I I have right down here meds I don't like. Amantadine. It sleep, makes me sleepy, lethargic, and dizzy. Uh, so it, it's kind of it, it's. Then I have a, a tab that says let's see. Uh, 91, 90 through 93, uh, 90, for some reason it skips to 98 through uh, uh, 99, 2005, 2009, uh, and then I just stopped doing it. I stopped counting, stopped counting. Anyway, uh, let's see. Susan says, "All right, golden retriever puppy in our house. Is he him? Oh my God, he's trying to work." You know what, Susan? I I uh, uh, remember I trained uh, Ranger to be my service dog. He's golden retriever. Uh, very, they're very wonderful and easy to train. Tell her to look at YouTube uh, videos about. Uh, 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 thank you for chiming in. Watch YouTube videos about training a golden retriever because it's it golden retriever's a dream unless she's a hyper golden retriever and then what she has to do is is run that run the heck out get that golden retriever tired and then start training. Um, I've trained uh, Winston to sit to come. Hi, Chris, to sit, to come. Uh, did I did I tell you all that? Uh, uh, let's see, Mace doesn't have kidney stones or bladder problems. <laughs> Are you bragging, Mace? Uh, anyway, um, so it, it, it's not that difficult. Being misspelled is not the pain of heart and one that couldn't. Oh, you know what? Do you guys see? Is my glasses dirty or do, am I going blind? All right, I'll be your buddy. I'm on a more a golden noodle. Oh, that's great. Jane's getting a golden noodle. Telling you, poodles will screw anything. <laughs> They're like Irish. <laughs> They're like the Irish. We all have Irish in us. Why? Because they're poodles. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? And I got to say, um, uh, Murphy, my... Uh, uh, all right, I'm going to show you guys something here. Hang on, hang on. No, I'm not, because the picture is going to show you just fell. Oh, I, I can't. I can't show you. Right, 
just fell. You know, isn't God good? Um, if if uh, uh, um, Donna, or not Donna, if Winston didn't get this, and I dropped that picture, I wouldn't have been able to retrieve this behind my desk. Okay, this here. This is Murphy Poodle. It's Murphy and and Wolfgang and and both of them. I would train them. I've got videos. We'd go for a walk. Neither one needed the leash. One, one. They, what, where are you going, Tim? Are you saying good days and hi? Or um, yeah, just. But I, I imagine if you mix them because. The one thing about Murphy is that Murphy tested me often. He, he would he would take it to the line, and I think that's what uh, uh, that's a poodle in Winston. He he tests me. He he tests. He's like, let me see what he can get away with. Uh, that is that's a poodle. You know, he, they're so bright. Um, the golden retriever is is. Uh, uh, you know they're 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 not as smart as as you know they learn easily but it sticks when you train them uh they don't question it and and with all things training a dog is consistency uh uh all right gina is gina in the house gina gina oh gina Gina. Good morning, Gina. Um, so we was talking about, uh, uh, all right, so any questions? Are we talking about dogs? We talked about uh, uh, bladder stimulation or uh, uh, bladder hesitancy, uh, catheter, uh, dealing with bladder issues. Uh, uh, Dealing with bladder issues. Gosh, I'll tell you what, if you notice, see up there, uh, that square thing up there? That is the ashes of my Wolfgang. I'm going to be, uh, Wolfgang and I'm going to be buried together. This, this. He was the most obedient thing. I tell you, that nothing has ever loved me more than that dog. If, if I hate. Hey, hey, hey. Winston, Winston, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what you see me. Oh my gosh. I have a syringe that I put, uh, uh, not a needle, syringe that I put, um, uh, I put uh, hydrogen peroxide and I put in uh, the, uh, the fish tank for blue green algae <coughs> he pulled that out of the and he chewed that up <laughs> unbelievable oh my god oh winston winston what are you doing you're making sarah's dog bark Yeah, I think he sees his reflection in the fireplace. I think that's it. Okay, any other questions? Any other questions? All right, Susan is saying we have quite a, a shit to well. She is sweet and terrified on her own. Okay. Yeah, get Winston a deer antler. I would, but you could be able to afford Deer antlers. Can you believe how much deer antlers cost? Oh my God, they are so expensive. You go down to PetSmart. I think about getting them for uh, for uh, Ranger and for uh, Winston. And I think about that, but uh, gosh, I think they're like what fifteen dollars a piece. They're they're crazy. I'm thinking, you know what? I live in Maryland. 
Yeah. If I didn't like Bambi so much, it'd be cheaper for me to uh, go out and shoot a deer. But I, I like deer. I love deer. They're so cute. I like the taste of deer. But I, I just, you know, Bambi, I don't shoot deer. But uh, uh, you know why I did get a bit, uh, antler one time when uh, uh, I was walking through the woods with my uh, super walker that Richard gave me, and uh, there was an antler on the ground. And uh, so he must have ripped off his antler. You know how they, they do that. So, All right, so uh, we... Uh, let's see. Uh, what happens after seven days? Very good question. All right, and and I've been asked what happens after my seven day trial of the axonic uh, uh, bladder stimulation or uh, in my spine, the spinal stimulation. They take it out. All right, so I go in next Monday. I have to do. A, uh, a, a diary, bladder diary of how much I'm drinking, how much I'm going to the bathroom, if there's any accidents, what's going on. I have to do that. Um, believe it or not, it, it's, I've got two wires. One is on the right. So um, for three days, I have to do a diary of what's go, um, how well the one on the right's working. And then I switch it over to the left, and it stimulates the left. And for three days, I have to write down how the left is working. And, and, uh, and then I go in on uh, uh, Monday, and they take it out, and they review it, and they decide uh, uh, how effective it was for me. If, they, if it looks good, if all the numbers work out, they'll apply it to the insurance company. And what they'll do is a uh, little... Uh, set a date for me to get the uh, operation to have it permanently implanted. And hot damn, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Because uh, I'll tell you what, I got up. I did not take, uh, 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 it's been a long time since I've taken uh, two oxybutin. I'm not dizzy. All of a sudden I realized that guys, half of our symptoms, are because we're medicated into comatose. We're medicated into being crippled. We're medicated into being depressed. It's just, you know, if, if there is anything you can do physically uh, that, that gets you off some of the medications causing, causing side effects you don't like, consider it, right? Because uh, it, it's not that... What do they say? You only live once. Remember that? That annoying. You only live once. You only live once. Yeah. Yeah. You live once. You live the best in heaven. Uh, you only live once. You know, make the most of, of this wonderful life God's given us. How can we be cheery if we've got this miserable disease unless we make the most of it? If, if doctors can give us a comfort with, with something that, that, that um, will make us civilized so I can, I can go for a walk. I'm going to go for a walk I'm around the block to them and take the dogs uh, without a diaper. Oh, my God. Uh, it's like walking the tightrope. Walking the tightrope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be madcap. I'm going to be madcap. I'm going to go for a walk with that and diaper. And then uh, uh, I'm also going to go, you know, for social reasons, I'm going to stop by the gym and, uh, uh, you know, with, because I, I can't core. I can't do anything with my core. But that doesn't mean my, my biceps, you know, with form, you know, shoulders, back, you know, just just really back as in, as in last. Uh, lats and, and traps, you know, that, that kind of stuff. I, I just have to be careful. And the reason why is because I get there and I schmooze a bit because there's sick people at the gym and I encourage them, uh, healthy people. Uh, anyway, yeah, pills are awful. 
oh my gosh, what I would do for a massage right here. I am so tight. I'm so tight. My shoulders. Oh my God. I'm so tight. Jets are hurt. Oh my God. You gotta do that magnesium spray. That magnesium chloride. That helps. You know, between that. But kids, you know what's awful? No, they don't. They don't. They they don't. Uh, uh, they implant it. All right. All right. Second. Second peep show. Ready? All right. Second peep show. All right. Second peep show. I'm going to step back. All right. Second peep show. Oh, it's in your spine, in your tailbone. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right, so your two two, right there and right there. They go into my thumb. And it doesn't hurt. It's just uh, the the leaking blood uh, at the time. Uh, at the time, it was the leaking blood, but it's it's not. Oh, you know what, Jessica? It's for you. But you know, I'm nothing. I'm I'm nothing. If we can only comfort, if you can. Support other people. I mean, look at uh, Summer Lady. Uh, the questions you're ans asking, uh, and and I'm able to answer these questions. Is so it's on va vaginal. It, it it helps everybody who watches this. And Jane, uh, uh, Jane, she's uh, Jane. I don't even think you talk to me anymore. Jane spent so much time supporting other people interacting and answering questions i love you jane but you know what i i i feel neglected by you i just feel oh oh my god i miss you jane uh, uh but anyway so i'm i'm glad it's not vaginal though remember it goes into your sacral nerve your sacral nerves at the end of your spine it did not hurt to have the trial put in and and get that seven day trial write it down so you can do that you can do botox for your bladder good thing about the axonic therapy is it works for bladder and bowel oh my gosh my hair looked cute when i started this that looks like it i need a comb um but anyway uh you need to uh consider this uh if you don't have a uh a, a urologist that specializes in neurogenic bladders, then you need to find one. Uh, do a Google search on that. Mine is U at uh, University of Maryland. Fantastic. I love her. She's great. She's great. Um, okay. So, reflexology. Uh, Oh boy, I could, I could use. You know what? What do you guys think? Maybe I no. I was gonna say I can go out and get a. Uh, uh, good morning. You know what? Uh, yes, I did too. Um, you know what it was? Uh, I had uh, two weeks ago before noon. I filled up three diapers full I'm, I'm not talking about pads i'm talking about full diapers oh my god i thought no you know what i'm way, i'm too young i am too young i'm not doing it so anyway uh uh if you can go back and watch this from the beginning you'll see you have options other than diapers uh um now what they suggest is Continue to wear a pad, a light pad, say, you know, in case uh, as part of the uh, the, the, the uh, diary I have to do is write down if, if I have any leak. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, do that. Do that, Chang. Um, do you have, uh, yes. Yeah, you, yes, there's, there's a lot. 
Okay, uh, so let's see. All right, um, Laura saying her sister moved from Madonna Beach to want hotter. Uh, uh, move to Texas for more but not it's a lot half uh yes uh all right they were talking about heat yes I because I'm from California or I moved from California best and Rocky better late than never okay uh what if you guys uh, uh who is it that gives the cooling stuff out um is that the MS uh foundation MS foundation if you contact, hi, Paul, is it Meta, MS Foundation? I did that video where they give you the cooling hat and the cooling uh, uh, scarf and, and, you know, who was it? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Will said, if you contact the MS Association of America, they have a cooling kit, all right? Call them up. And, and request a cooling kit and they have things like it, it's uh it's wonderful things it's, it's things like a, a a scarf that has um cooling packs in that uh um a uh, a hat uh with a cooling pack in it wrist things with cooling packs uh, get that kind of stuff a chunk got his from the uh, uh va that's it's wonderful uh uh all right oh, let's do um yeah they, they and they, and and jane said they they do cooling vests too so they can do cooling vests too uh just need a doctor's note no well that's not true uh um i didn't need a doctor's note to get a cooling vest or not excuse me not to get the cooling packet remember i'm mean, sitting in the backyard and i unboxed it. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Maybe for the uh, cooling vest, for insurance to cover it. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Don't know. All right, guys. I'm getting close to the top of the hour. Uh, um, are there any other questions? Are there any questions, concerns? Remember, uh, a recap, uh, there is um, bladder pacemakers, it's called uh, uh, stimulation therapy, it, you, it works to uh, uh, control the spasms of your bladder, and it also works if you need to catheterize yourself. There's two companies, Exonic Therapy and Metatronic, uh, and, and Exonic has the is MRI safe at, at 1.3 Teslas. So there, there's reasons why uh, that one looks like it's a better one, but you know, I, I don't, I'm not getting paid by the company. So uh, uh, I, I'm not supposed to promote anything. Uh, so look at that. In, in, and uh, um, also, uh, uh, all right, let's, See, I have to try. The spasms are bad. Yes, my my body spasms are so bad. So I, I'm gonna look into the baclofen pump next. Anyway, uh, um, thank y'all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Uh, um, we will see you on Thursday. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this this uh, nurse said that she's she's thrilled to be able to answer them for all of us, and and uh, God bless you. Uh, now um, I will say, don't worry about anything. Worry about nothing in life, but in everything with prayer and supplication and petition. Just ask God. Make your requests known to God, uh, and let the peace which surpasses all understanding God's our hearts and minds and keeping them on Christ Jesus. Amen. All right. If you don't know Jesus is your Lord and Savior, uh, I'll tell you, it, it just, it allows you to take the worry off the world. Not the matters. 
everything's funny. Um, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I love you all. Uh, please subscribe. Follow me if you are on uh, um, Facebook and, and on YouTube. Subscribe. Love you, and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.